United Nations has warned the world is on a catastrophic pathway to a hotter planet. If we don't get serious about climate change today, it will be too late for our children to do so tomorrow. World-leading scientists say we're closer than ever to doomsday, what they call 100 seconds to midnight. It's a stark warning for humanity, and one that sparked the idea behind a giant steel box that's about to begin recording everything we say and do about climate change. There's a horrific nature to this idea, the notion of an end. But at the same time, the positivity of everyone being on record, so much like a black box in any plane, it, you, you're glad it's there when you're flying. Scientists, artists, engineers and architects have come together to create a black box for the Earth, built to outlive us all. But the creators behind the project say all hope is not lost. In a way, the purpose of the box is not to sort of say, well, we're doomed and that's the end of it. It's actually to say, whatever we do from now on, we're going to record anyway. So maybe there's an opportunity to take action which prevents that catastrophe. The box will be up to 15 metres in length and 4 metres high. It's made from reinforced steel and is solar powered. Inside, hard drives will store 500 scientific data measurements, from the acidification of the ocean to the amount of CO2 in the atmosphere. Rainfall, ice thickness and temperature records will also be stored. An algorithm will gather contextual data, newspaper headlines, social media activity and transcripts of speeches from world leaders. It's never been all put into one place. It's always been sort of sectionalised um, in various different sources. And the idea is, is for every measurement, we will record more than one measure. The creators considered locations around the world for the black box, but it's here in Tasmania's rugged west where they found the perfect spot for what they needed. It's remote, as well as geographically and politically stable. And despite the area being known for its wild conditions, they say it can survive every possible natural threat. Much like the positioning of a black box on a plane is, is, is such that it's got the best chance of surviving if the plane goes down, the west coast of Tasmania is absolutely that equivalent. The project still needs to pass official planning approval, but it's hoped it can be installed later this year. I think this will be another reason for people to come uh, to the west coast and uh, be able to touch uh, a really uh, important uh, piece of art and scientific infrastructure. Art with purpose. Monty Boval, ABC News, Queenstown.